guys, it's George Gregan here, one of the founders of Fitness Systems United, which we own this brand, which is our real key functional fitness brand called PTP. And I'm here with Kieran, Kieran Owens from KO8, and we're gonna collaborate and do some really cool training. We've been talking about one of our new training products, which is called the AquaCore. And as the name suggests, there's water involved in this training, but there's also gonna be a little bit of movement from side to side and around due to the fact that this isn't filled fully the aqua core is based on a concept called unstable loading, which is basically creating instability and you want to get stability through training this way. So in a, in a, in a nutshell, it's a really cool way of doing some wonderful balance training, which you will probably miss a few repetitions, but it's really yeah. good from a coordination perspective, from a balance perspective, and also learning new motor patterns. Yeah. So we'll teach, we're gonna probably teach about three options, aren't we today? Perfect. I think we should always start with the single leg Romanian deadlift when you're using the PTP aqua core. So as I said, here we are, the PTP AquaCore. It's only got about seven to eight liters, which is seven to eight kilos. So it's not a huge amount, but challenging enough. Single leg remaining deadlift. We're gonna start, I'm gonna go on my left leg, you hinge forward and we counterbalance, making sure we pull our scaps back and down so we've got good posture. Next in a neutral position, and then we just come back up. That seems pretty simple. Once you've got this kind of perfected, you can add another layer, such a progression, which can be just a movement to the left, follow it with your eyes, movement to your right, and that'll throw you off balance. Then you come back to center, come back up. Third progression, and this is the killer, is where we go from that lovely position being in the single leg Romanian deadlift, head in neutral position. We're gonna come back up, bring it to our chest, counterbalance, and then we're gonna try and get that above our head. And I've missed it. Because <laughs> you're just locking and loading through this left side like you wouldn't believe. And it doesn't seem like much weight. That's, as I said, you've got to love the bloopers when you're doing this form of training. Yeah. Because that's when your body, you can do all the coaching techniques, yep. but what you're to say is do it again. Yeah. And your body will rebalance. So I'll try and do that. Let's see if I can rebalance. Kieran going. Bit of a wobble. Take it up to your chest. Bang. Got nice. there, then bring it back down to start. That's a good progression. Well, just, just the beauty of it for me, is, as you could probably see here, guys, like the weight can be adjusted. So obviously you use the water as that weight. Now, what I've found just playing around with it for, for a few minutes is, is almost less is more. Yes. Because you're getting that movement within the water, your body has to absorb that movement. So it's, it's unstable, unstable load, um, which just makes things even harder. But straight away, you're waking up, you know, connected tissue and you're sending signals that, that don't normally occur, so. And you're firing all your stabilizing muscles, all yeah. the small stuff, which actually keeps you in the right posture. Yeah. Which, if you're using it, like if, you could fill that up even more and it just yeah. becomes like dead weight and you potentially muscle with your big muscles. Yeah. And maybe the small ones aren't working the way they should be. Yeah, yeah. But when you do this, I tell you, that's you, it. It gives you feedback straight <laughs> it's away. It's a humbling experience from what I can, uh, I can tell you straight away. I think mean, you got a smile when you miss the rep. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Everyone does. Yeah. I'm going to take the wider grip. Yep. The wider grip's a good option for this remaining deadlift. So even, even straight away there, I'm feeling like a, a slight sloshing. So just yeah. standing on one leg. Well, there's a little bit of perturbation. There's not a huge amount, but yep. the aim is to try and make that a, a spirit yep. level. And your body's just going, what, what are you doing to me? Yep. Yeah, good, good reset of the scaps. The thoracic, that hinge forward. And then from there, reset before you go into the progression. Yeah, that's that's one. Like you're feeling yeah. comfortable, do a couple of that just to, yeah. to build it up. And then the second progression is just that movement of side to side. That's really good. See, even there for me, I've got, you know, five kg in there. Oh, even for that, that's that's pulling you right off. It is. And, and it's just not keeping you on plane. Yeah, it's actually yeah. forcing you to adapt to that slightly different. Absolutely, so again, in terms of like a prehab exercise as well, just to strengthen those connective tissues, those ligaments, um, it, it's probably our areas that a lot of time don't get much attention. <laughs> so for me, just even with that very simple basic movement, you make it look easy by the way, George, I'm sure you've heard that before, but just going down and, and that slight side to side movement is, is challenging in itself. Yeah, and that's a great progression once you start you've perfected it, okay, add a little layer of difficulty, which is fun and challenging, and your body will respond, because it's that multi. I think as well with it, it's like the, the proprioception, I imagine in barefoot, 
would be quite nice. Or oh, doing this in bare feet. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. And you can do a really cool session where you're just in bare feet. Yeah. Yeah, Love and it. then everything's turned on from the ground up, so to speak, that Love training it. philosophy. I'm gonna go for the third progression. Let's see how we get on. Whoa. Not a great start. <laughs> just small. Right, it's, Body it's, will it's, correct. It will know correct what? itself. It's, it is incredible. Just something, such a slight movement can, can really throw you off. So here, That's a little it. reset, a little hop. And now this is where the glutes come into play, isn't it? Yeah. Just to, to lock up the hips. And just getting that nice, strong, extended position, feeling above the hip. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Mate, it's, it's, it's literally everywhere. Yeah. From that posterior chain, I'm feeling calf. Calf. I'm feeling hammy. Uh, hammy. Glutes, glutes massively to lock hips the hips. Hips locking in. Then all of a sudden, yeah. you've got your thoracic and shoulder into That's the, it. Okay. Extend. Yeah. And then get your balance. Yeah, and yeah. There's all Absolutely. those things going on, which if you're trying to coach that, imagine trying to coach all these things. Fire the calf, fire your glute, do yeah. this. Okay, now we're going to go into extension. Yeah. Make sure your shoulders are set back. You're in the right plane. Yeah. It's a lot to coach. It's, it's, it's a just, lot. Do you know what I think it is well in terms of like, skill development, pattern development. From a young age, some of the younger athletes who are using this. Great fun. What a great way. What great a great way, way to culture. And we, we want, well, this is the first one. We're gonna go into, you love that, the lunge with going yeah, across the body. We're gonna rotation. be doing that multi-movement yep. pattern across the body. I, su I suppose with this then as well, George, in terms of regression, so for let's say people who are maybe new to exercise, and they want to do it, or they've had some maybe previous injuries, and even just the, the RDL yeah. is a challenge for them. You could go maybe into, you know, more of a good morning or more yeah, like a deadlift even. Good morning, it's a good option. So, we should, so again, PTP is a good sign. Chest over the PTP. Let's go to the wide grip. And we can just be going there, set ourselves in that nice position mm -hmm. with the thoracic. We've not got rounded shoulders. Chin's neutral. Set our scaps back and down. So we're in a nice, strong, flat back position. We can have it from the ground, and we're just going to. Like a little deadlift. Yep. That in itself, it's not too heavy. Yeah, because even everything. if you just apply a little bit of movement. Totally. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get that sloshing effect. And, and with those types of movement, which is all about getting everything in balance, yep. is you want that movement. Hopefully there's not gonna be one side favored. So yep. from there, you're doing that nice little, yeah, yeah. you're firing everything, you're pushing your hips forward. Yeah. There's a nice little bit of glute activation, yeah. which is a nice way to start before you go into your single leg. Yeah, yeah. So you're building, you're building that little bit of muscle memory. It re reminds me of a quote I heard once, and it was talking about the, the opposite of weakness. And most people say strength, but then you think strength by definition could also be a weakness because you could lack mobility. You may be really strong for that one rep or power, but in terms of like whether it's mobility or taking you off what you're normally doing, it could be a weakness. So what I heard was, you no, know, you want to be anti-fragile. And I think these types of movements work on anti-fragility. Yes. Because you're working everywhere at the same time, it's it's just safeguarding your body for whatever, you know, oh. life or sport throws at it. There's a little bit of weight. It's not too much weight. Yeah. But it's enough to set you in the right position. So if you go from that above the shoulders, which yeah. we have, we just set it like it's in a squat position behind your head. If we just hinge forward, you use the terminology, let's do a good morning. So we yep. just hinge forward, chest is up, head's in a neutral position. Straight straight away, I'm feeling that, George. Like even and there's my, movement. Yeah. My lats are firing there to, to, your, your to butt, rebalance, reset. Your back, yeah. your, your lower back, yeah. everything's firing because That's you just it. need to be there. Now from there, we can just come back out of it. Starting position. Yep. Just go from there. And then the progression on that is from here. We can just rotate and feel that water. Rotate to the other side. Hold, nice. come back, and then come back up. Yeah. Great, great way to warm up as well. So for me, obviously you're getting thoracic rotation. So nice rotation through the mid back. But then also if you, if you lock that leg, you want to get hammy. Hammy. It's going to fire your glutes. And a little bit of mobility through the hips just yep. for that turn. So all those little things which matter yeah. when you're doing like a traditional kind of lift or before you're going into your traditional type of movement. Lovely. Beautiful way of accessing a greater range of movement and mobility. Perfect. Mm. Perfect. Give it a go guys. Let's try it out. RDL, good morning, deadlift. Multiple ways you can work that one. Uh, but yeah, fantastic exercise for prehab, rehab and just get your body moving. And get yourself get yourself moving. Yeah. yeah. Love it.